Well, here's my first video on my new camera, actually my second, but here's my garden. Um, we dug this up with a backhoe and had a lot of dead branches and dead trees around the property, so I dragged them over here and filled it in uh, with dead branches, making a hugel culture bed. So hopefully that'll retain some of the moisture and some of the nutrients, nitrogen. And over time I won't have to water as much. Uh, watering's not really a problem, but this is more just an experiment. I want to see what happened because we do have a new hydrant that we put in over here. And that's fed from our well, our spring. But let's take a look at the garden and see what all I've got in here. The first thing I planted was the strawberry plants. And I've been plucking off the flowers, but I decided to leave some on now. Um, see if I get some strawberries. Those should give me two crops a year in the future. Then I planted these broccoli. Need to pick them and eat them. I already ate that one. It was pretty good. I uh, got some marigolds and planted some stevia. Got that from a greenhouse. They had it in the back and didn't really want to sell it, but um, I asked about it, so they gave me one plant. And planted this early on too. Some lettuce and butter crunch lettuce, I believe. And also there's some spinach and some white icicle radishes. Those are pretty good. In fact, let's see if this one's ready. Nope, not quite ready. Um, I think that's my cucumber, or maybe that's my cucumber, one of them zucchini. Uh, my basil's not doing very well over there, might have some transplant shock, but we'll see what happens. I might try and prop it up or something, but, um, had a lot of rain yesterday, so... Uh, I watered them a couple days ago. Looks like we'll get some more rain today, but there's an eggplant. And as you can see, lots of peppers. I bought them at the greenhouse. My seeds didn't start as well as I wanted. I'll have to build a greenhouse for me uh, next year. Got some cantaloupe over here, if I can find it. There's one. And I planted them kind of at an angle. You know, not right across from each other. I'm gonna put a trellis up and try and grow them on the trellis. We'll see what happens. And then we've got a lot of tomatoes. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight rows of tomatoes. And we'll see what happens with those, but looks like they're doing pretty well. Uh, gotta learn how to use this camera. Yeah, that's a tomato, isn't it? So I got some of these seeds from OSS uh, Seed Bank. You guys check them out on Facebook. Here's some of my onions. Um, I planted these from bulbs I got over at the greenhouse just down the road. And they're doing all right. Maybe need to weed them a little bit, but uh, I think the ground cover will be fine. And over here, I planted some potatoes. Uh, this is my first time planting potatoes, but some of them came up, some of them didn't. As you can see, that's not a potato. That's a potato. So 
So I planted one about every foot or so, 18 inches, and down these ditches. And I've got, I think it counted last night, I've got about 10 or 11 plants, which for my first time, that'll be fine. Next year, I'll probably plant uh, four times as many. Got some nice plants growing here. And then over here, I just planted a watermelon since the ground was already dug up some and um, wanted to plant it outside of my garden since my garden's already full. So we'll see what happens. Uh, what else do we have? We've got some pear trees and apple trees. Walnut tree over there. And you can probably see the GMO corn in the background. I didn't plant that. And more apple trees. So that's what I've got planted so far. Um, we'll see how it does. And that's it for my first video. Thanks for watching.